This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with how to clean the Mila dishwasher and this is the Optima series and just going to go over some real simple steps. So this is the Optima dishwasher and one of the things we'll clean, we'll open it up, pull out our bottom rack and we're going to remove this lower spring arm. We're going to take it over to the sink and clean it out, make sure that there's nothing caught in these jets. We're going to remove the triple filter by turning it to the side, lifting up. We'll talk about how to clean that. We're going to clean the one-way valve right here. To get that out, we're going to push on this lever out toward the sump. It'll come out about 45 degrees and we can lift it out. And then you can also take out the little housing that connects to it. Same thing, just kind of lift it out. You can take a look in there to see how the impeller is doing. Make sure there's nothing caught down inside the impeller well. And then we'll also be taking off the upper spray arm. And to do, to do the upper spray arm, we're going to just remove this little nut, turn this counterclockwise. So we're turning it, in this case, toward toward our right. It'll undo it, and we can get this out and clean it. We can see that this one does have a little stuff caught in there. So we're gonna talk about how to clean that. Now to get to the uppermost spray arm, we're gonna pull out this rack by pulling it toward us, and then we're gonna lift it up off of that wheel, pull it a little bit more, moving it off the other set of wheels. There we go, so that upper rack comes off. And then on the third rack, when we pull that out, we, have, we see that this rack can just lift out. Once we lift that out, kind of hollow now, right? So we push that back in. And then <clears throat> we get this upper one here, right? And this one is gonna grab this ring, this plastic ring. And focus in a little better. Turn that to the side toward the left, lefty Lucy. Spin that one off. And we're just gonna clean these spray arms. And it should help dishwasher to clean better. That looks good up in there. And next we're just going to go over how to clean them. So this is the upper spray arm and if you have a little clog in it, like we see right here in this jet, it prevents water from hitting the uh, glasses in the upper rack. So one thing you can do is if you have something sharp, you're going to use a little dental pick, but you can use uh, like an extended paper clip you can just push that object back in or try to fit or you can try to fish it out. If you push it back inside, then you can kind of use water to get it out by then getting a little stream of water going. And then you would let the water run in to the spray arm and you go back and forth. And then you can turn it upside down and then it should fall out. We're gonna do that a couple of times, put the water in there, back and forth. More water, turn upside down, back and forth. That'll get rid of that object. This is the uppermost spray arm, and we're just looking in these jets to make sure there's nothing caught in there. There's one here too. One on the bottom. Just making sure nothing's in there. That looks great. That's the one that is really rinsing your utensils in the in the third upper drawer. Um, this good. is the lower spray arm and all these jets look good. If there was stuff in there, you could either pull it out or you could push it in and then put water in here and then you could flip it over and go back and forth until it falls out. So this is the triple filter. You can just clean this with a old toothbrush and then <clears throat> you want to open up this part by pressing in on this tab your other finger on this other side and then you can pull up 
this thing will hinge open. So once it hinges open, you can just get in there with a toothbrush and some water and some soap and just clean all on the perimeter and just get all that junk out of there. So this is the one-way valve and you want to make sure that that little ball bearing can move around freely in there if there's nothing caught. Sometimes you get a seat caught in there. And also pull this rubber piece out and clean in there. Just make sure you reseat it. And we have to hook that back up to its housing. We can see that the piece of rubber has a little pocket for this plastic tab to fit in, so we know it only fits one way. We're just gonna push those together. So once they're hooked together, it looks like that. So we've got everything clean. We're gonna put it all back. First, we'll do the upper spray on. So this is the highest up one in the system. So I'm just gonna put that back up in the position. And then we're just gonna go spin it righty tighty. And it'll, it'll lock in, you'll feel it. Just get your finger tight. So that one's all done. I'm gonna put that one way valve back in. So I'm just gonna tilt it in at an angle initially. And we'll push it in furthest to the left and it'll click in and that's done. Next will be the triple filter. Get that in position. Lock it in. And then we'll do the lower spray. That one just push it in, locks in. Now we're gonna do the middle rack. So we get that over the first set of wheels. Here's the next set and lift it at an angle. Get that up over. Get the same thing on the other side. Push that in. And we'll do the middle spray arm. And that one just goes up and then we twist it on. Put it right up here. Go righty, righty tighty until it locks in. Spins good. And then just put in the lower rack. And you have a nice clean dishwasher ready to go. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance. Thank you.